Statue Hunter 75 coming here to you with another statueforum.com review. This is of an oldie but a goodie. Um, King Leonidas from the movie 300, the premium format figure. It's the exclusive, which means it has the switch out head portrait. Front of the box, top of the box is just black. Side of the box is black. Back of the box is pretty cool. As you can see, the statue. And then there's a quick little uh, synopsis here if you want to pause your uh, video and read it. And of course, it's from Sideshow Collectibles. And let's get to the beautiful piece here. This is number. 476 out of 600 for the exclusive run. Um, I'm only going to display them with the exclusive head because it's a bit of a pain to swap out the heads. But look at the portrait of Gerard Butler. Looks awesome. It looks just like him. They did a very good job with the paint application with his teeth and the detail on his beard and everything and the pitting on the helmet. Whatever that is, you know, whatever metal it was made with. The bristles looks awesome just the weathering on his cape as you can see as you get lower near the bottom of the cape it's riddled and frail and all torn apart and black has like stains on the cape and stuff and then of course this is the part in the movie it's a great movie I loved it big fan of Frank Miller um, when he took obviously his spear and smashed all the arrows off his shield and the pinning on the shield is incredible too very nice detail on the spot and shield. Looks awesome. Very happy with the, the detail on this. And you see the arrows that were shot at him on the ground from that scene in the movie and the clay-like land that he's standing on looks just like from the movie. Very good detail. Very good attention to detail. You see a spot and sword in there. That's really cool. And then the tooth from the wolf that he slayed in the beginning of the movie. Just a great movie all around. Great piece. I'm glad to own it in my collection. Here's the regular head I'm going to show you so you can see the good likeness of Gerard Butler when he was King Leonidas. They did a great job with the detail and the braids and his hair and the beard. And just looks awesome. Really good work. This is a very underrated piece in my opinion. I haven't heard much about it. I kind of didn't uh, order it way back when. I was lucky enough to get um, a nice deal from a fellow collector on the uh, Statue Forum. Uh, not the Statue Forum, on the Statue Collector's Facebook page. Uh, Key Wan. Very, very good seller and very pleasure to deal with. Very nice guy. So here's the uh, exclusive head next to the uh, regular head just to give you a uh, bit of an idea of the comparison of the two. The reason I'm not swapping it out is because this hook is really tough to get on. It's a pain in the butt to get that hooked on the clasp. That is where they had a flaw in the design for Sideshow. But I mean you can do it of course. It's just, it just takes a lot of finagling and I don't want to risk it. You know any potential damage because it's perfect and that's how I want them displayed anyway with that helmet with the exclusive. So great work with the spare as well. These arrows are loose of course. They come out and you just put them in the, in the hole. Very easy to put together. And just uh, the detail on his feet, on his sandals, and his you know the spot musculature. All those guys were ripped in that movie. They did a really good job on the sculpt. The shield and the uh, also his arm brace here, arm clasp or whatever you want to call it, and the spear. The spear is loose, the spot and spear, that's loose and it hangs in his hand there. This tip at the top comes off so you can slide the uh, spear through his hand and then it goes back on. It's got a little peg. Just the, the attention to detail is amazing. Very happy with this piece. Very, very, very happy. I love having movie pop culture statues too, and this is just a really cool movie, so glad I have this in the collection. 
All right, guys. In the uh, oh, I didn't show you also the shield. <laughs> it's gonna be of course because I'm videoing. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's a strong magnet that holds the shield. And there you can see a spot and sword a little bit better in the detail in the leather and the well, it's polystone, but it looks like leather on the sheath on the sword. Really cool. Really good work. And then the shield just goes back in perfectly. Kind of pull his cape out. Yeah, the shield can be over his cape. It's fine. It looks about right. Alright, let's get to my statue form score for this guy. For the sculpt, I mean, it's perfect. I'm giving it a perfect 10. For the paint application and mixed media, look at his face. 10 all around. I mean, the clay on the ground looks just like the movie. Giving it a 10. The pitting on the shield, the bronze on the shield, 10. So, paint mixed media got a 10 in my book. Now, design, the only flaw that I'm giving this for design, and this is like a mixed media, like a leather too, I didn't tell you, and the cape is mixed media. So that's all that's mixed media, the rest of the statue. For design, I'm giving it a 7, because as I mentioned earlier, this clasp is just almost impossible to hook. It's really hard to get hooked on. You could do it, but it's just a real pain in the ass. You shouldn't have to finagle like that. They could have made it, you know, the fabric a little longer or something. But, you know, got it done, but I'm giving it a 7 for the design on that. They could have did that better. Production and build quality, I mean, the statue itself is sturdy. It's, it's wonderful, so I'm giving it another 10. So a grand total score for this guy, when we tally everything up for statue form scores, um, it's a 9.25, which is a pretty impressive score for a pretty impressive statue. I'm sticking with it. I really like the statue. I'm glad I have it. It's a 9.25. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Have a good one.